Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. How you doing, Calvary? My name's Jared, and I got your next word of the day here. So go ahead and open up your Bible or your Bible apps with me and turn to Matthew chapter 8, verses 14 through 17. Okay, let's read. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in a bed with a fever. He touched her hand, and the fever left her, and she got up and began to wait on him. When evening came, many who were demon-possessed were brought to him, and he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfill what what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. Uh, So just for context here, Matthew is writing to Jewish Christians, and he's talking about this amazing miracle where Jesus heals Peter's mother-in-law's fever. And at the end of verse 17, he refers to Uh, what this prophecy fulfills because he wants to remind these Christian Jews that Jesus is in fact the Messiah and was prophesied to come and now he's here. And so he references the Old Testament, Isaiah 53. Uh, So let's let's quickly read that. Uh, We're going to start in verse 4. Surely he took up our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities, the punishment that brought us peace on him, and by his wounds we are healed. You see, Jesus is the great physician, and he healed many people in his short ministry here on earth. And I believe that through the power of his Holy Spirit, people are still being healed. You see, the amazing thing about Jesus is he can heal the symptom, sickness, disease, but he can also heal the source, and that's sin. Did you catch there at the end of verse 5 in Isaiah 53, it says, By his wounds we are healed. You see, Jesus went to the cross and he bore it all for us. So that way we may be healed and eventually perfected with him forever. I hope this message encourages you. Have a great day. God bless you.